I'll now be sharing this paper, Novel Self-Organizing Fuzzy Rule-Based System for Modeling Traffic Flow Behavior by Quack, Pasqua, and Lin in 2008. <laughs> we begin with some background on the issue. Traffic flow analysis can be performed using either microscopic or macroscopic parameters. Microscopic relates to the behavior of individual vehicles in the traffic stream with respect to each other and includes characteristics such as spacing and head weight. On the other hand, macroscopic parameters describes the traffic stream as a whole, such as speed, volume, and density. Generally, macroscopic analysis is used for higher density, large-scale systems. Since the paper's objective was to model a highway section as a whole, macroscopic analysis was chosen. There are existing methods that make use of statistical regression models, prob probabilistic models, or neural networks. But these have their limitations. Statistical regression models are able to address the multiplicity and complexity of road traffic, and probabilistic models are difficult to implement and design. Therefore, the authors propose a hybrid technique combining neural networks and fuzzy logic for automatically deriving from experimental data an approximate yet robust rule-based model. By combining the two approaches, the author's goal is to integrate their individual merits to build a more intelligent decision-making system. This incorporates the generic advantages of neural network, such as robustness and learning in data-rich environments, together with modeling and of imprecise and qualitative knowledge via the use of fuzzy networks. The drawbacks of the individual approaches, which is the black box of neural network and problem of finding suitable membership values for fuzzy systems, can therefore be avoided. A combination can constitute an interpretable model capable of learning and can use problem-specific problem prior knowledge. The fuzzy neural network can have modeling capabilities comparable or superior to neural networks, and we also get model transparency as a benefit. The proposed method is called POPFNN-TBR, which stands for Pseudo Outer Product Fuzzy Neural Network using the Truth re Value Restriction Method. The architecture diagram is on the right and has a five-layer structure where each layer is characterized by the fuzzy operation it performs. We have from bottom to top the input layer which directly transmits non-fuzzy input values to the second layer. Next is the condition layer, where neurons constitute the antecedents of the fuzzy rules. Neurons in the third rule-based layer represent fuzzy rules such as if height is short, then weight is light. Following that is the consequence layer, and lastly an output layer where defuzzification takes place and output variables come out. The learning process of POP POPFNN consists of three phases, self-organization, POP learning, and supervised learning. A self-organizing algorithm is first employed to initialize the membership functions of both input and output variables. Lazy POP learning algorithm is then used to identify fuzzy rules supported by the training data. Lastly, the derived structure and parameters are fine-tuned using the backpropagation learning algorithm. Vehicle classification count and speed data was collected from a five-lane section along the Pan Island Expressway in Singapore. The loop detectors are capable of recording vehicle count, vehicle speed, and classification of up to 13 categories. Video recordings were also taken from the overhead bridge to monitor actual traffic flow during data collection. Data was collected at five-minute intervals over a period of six days. POP FNN TVR was validated against feed forward back feed forward back, back propagation benchmark FFVP by assessing the modeling and prediction capabilities and performance on traffic density. The FFVP has used has five neurons in the input layer, which speed and density of two of speed and density for two of the lanes account for four of the nodes and the last node is time. It has 100 neurons in the input layer, and the two neurons in the outer layer represent the desired speed and density of the output prediction lane. The 
experiments to assess the modeling ability of POP FNN TVR are organized into two parts. <clears throat> First is their ability to model interlane relationship in a traffic stream, and second is to assess the valid validity of fuzzy rules extracted by POP FNN TVR during the modeling process. First, a comparison between FFBP and POP FNN TVR is done based on the R-square index to ensure that the set of fuzzy rules extracted from the system is meaningful and suitable for further experimentation. These are the results. R-square values indicating the quality of fit between predicted and desired outputs is in Table 2. <clears throat> a higher R-square value indicates a better fit. The figures reflect that FFBP is able to model slightly closer to the, des to the desired outputs with POP FNN TVR nearly comparable. Density predictions in Table 3 are much better than speed overall, mostly between 0.7 to 0.84. But overall, you can see that the R square values for POP FNN TVR are slightly lower than FFBP across the board. Since POP FNN TVR relies heavily on the clustering of features in the training data into fuzzy sets, the lack of clustering in the training data impairs the network's ability, learning ability, and as a result, it does not perform as well as FFBP. The authors also went on to verify the fuzzy rules extracted. The fuzzy rules extracted using lazy POP learning algorithm are presented in several tables. As an example, in table 4 here, for lane 1, <coughs> rule 0 means that if the time is in the afternoon, D2 is slow, and D3 is slow, then D1 will be slow. Time, D2 and D3 are input vectors fed into POP FNN TVR and D1 is the desired output. Columns 6 and 7 on the far right give the weights of the link connecting the rule node and respective output label. To conclude the paper, we saw how the proposed method can extract fuzzy rules from training data and generalize approximately given new input data with a modeling ability comparable or superior to that of FFBP. The POP FNN TVR system also provides model transparency in the form of explicit knowledge rules extracted from training data. The results obtained also show that the performance of POP FNN TVR is highly dependent on the ability to cluster input vectors, as failure to do so will result in a significant drop in system performance. The fuzzy rules extracted are validated to be, rep to be representative of the problem and can be directly applied without further training or complex implementation.